Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. This is Empress Imani, and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. You don't get what you want. You get what you are. Les Brown. What am I? We are divine source energy. We have energy centers within our bodies called chakras. Chakras correlate with our physical body as well as our emotional, mental, and spiritual body. Today, we are focusing on the root chakra or the root center if you follow human design. Our objective is to respect and honor the power we have within us by using crystal energy. Today, we are covering Law 14 of the 46 Laws of Spiritual Power. Use crystal energy. If this is your first time here, I am Empress Imani, inspirational teacher of Sacred Love Lessons. I help women to honor the love within so they too can manifest the life of their dreams. You guys, you know I'm traveling and now I am in San Marcos, Guatemala. It's down in Lake Atalan, Guatemala. And San Marcos is a village here, a beautiful village here with magical views of the lake. I went to a Mayan fire ceremony. It was amazing. It was at this place called Lava Love. I'll leave a link for you if you want to check them out. But one thing that I learned when I was at this ceremony, well, I learned several things. I learned about the Mayan culture, the Mayan Nawals. I learned about cacao, the benefits of cacao and how cacao can help you in your spiritual practices. But I also learned at the root of it all that we are all the same. In this ceremony, it was led by three shaman who are of Mayan descent, speaking in three different languages throughout the ceremony. It was amazing. But as a group, it was from people all over the world, travelers like myself all over the world. And what I learned is that at the root, the heart of the matter, the essence of who we are, we are all the same. We may do things differently. We may look differently. We may say, dress, and behave differently. But at the root of, of who we are, we are all the same. And so today, we are going to focus on our root chakra, or the root center, if you're in human design. The root chakra is located at the base of the spine near the tailbone. It works with the earth star chakra to create a sense of safety and security. The root chakra is associated with the color red and has grounding earthy energy with a grounding cord that allows you to feel centered and grounded. The energy of the root chakra helps you balance your physical responsibilities here in the 3D reality, remain centered, and avoid burnout. In the physical body, the root chakra is connected to the adrenal glands, which regulate your metabolism and your immune system, as well as manage the body's stress response. In the spiritual body, the root chakra is connected to your kundalini energy, your life force energy, and helps with the rising of this energy. In the emotional body, the root chakra is associated with feelings of enoughness, either too much or too little. When the root chakra is open, you feel centered, secure, determined, and at ease with yourself and your surroundings. You feel abundant, happy, joyful, healthy, and content. You feel full. When the root chakra is closed, you feel a sense of lack or a sense of greed. You experience a fear that you will run out. You experience emotional imbalance, low self-esteem, feelings of unworthiness or undeservedness. You feel like you're not enough, like something is missing. You find yourself in a mindset of more. I need more education. If I just had more money, if I took more classes, more certifications, if I had more things, more clothes, more shoes, more cars, more houses, and many things you really don't need. Or you feel like you need more people, more followers, more subscribers, more likes, more shares. You feel like you need more and you are feeling lack and insecurity. Now, medical disclaimer before we get into the crystal energy. Information in this podcast is provided for informational purposes only. 
The information is not intended as a substitute for the advice provided by a licensed physician or healthcare professional. We are not doctors and we are not giving you medical advice. Do not use this information in this podcast for diagnosing or treating a health problem or disease or prescribing medication or other treatment. Always speak with your physician or healthcare provider for all your medical needs. Now, let's get into crystal energy. The crystal energy we are focusing on today is red jasper. Red jasper is the perfect crystal for working with the root chakra or root center. Red jasper is known as the nurturer's stone. It is a vibrant red stone with flecks of gray infused hematite. Red jasper is found all over the world, including India, Russia, Indonesia, Madagascar, Australia, Brazil, and the United States, among other places. It comes with healing properties and is good for stability and security. Red jasper is a grounding stone, and it removes negative energy, worry, emotional stress, anxiety, and confusion. It helps to improve self-confidence, courage, and determination. Some ways to activate red jasper's healing properties include, one, you can hold red jasper crystals in your hands. This promotes physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Red jasper crystals positively interact with your body's energy fields or your root chakra. Red jasper helps to increase peace and alleviate stress. Two, you can wear red jasper on your body. You can wear it as a bracelet, waist beads, necklace, inside your bra. You can sew it into your hair. When I had locks, I used to wear lock jewelry in my hair with crystals on my lock jewelry, so then it would be sewn into my hair. Three, you can place red jasper under your pillow. Four, you can put red jasper on your keychain or carry the crystals in your purse or your bag. Five, you can hold the vision of red jasper crystal in your mind's eye or look at a photo of red jasper and activate its power. Now, this method is for the more advanced practitioners. If you are into visioning, if you are into visualizations and meditation and you can hold a vision in your mind's eye, this particular method would be really good for you. I have an exercise for you today. Because we give meaning to everything we see, we can also assign meaning to our red jasper. So what I want you to do today is grab your red jasper, either hold it in your hand or wherever you have it, whether it be in your mind or in your hand. Now assign a meaning to your red jasper. Then complete the I am exercise while holding, wearing, or imagining your red jasper. We'll cover six I am affirmations today, and I'll put the full list at the website 46lawsofspiritualpower.com. You'll find the other ones on the website. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Inhale. Now exhale. And repeat after me. I am powerful and strong. I am full of high vibing energy. I am stability. My mind is clear and focused. I am secure. I already have everything I need. My cup overflows. I easily generate energy and vitality for myself through my thoughts and my actions. I trust the process of life and know that all is working out for my highest good.
So that's all I have for you today. Law 14, use crystal energy. You can use this crystal energy for all of your chakras within your body. I'll put a list for you at 46 Laws of Spiritual Power for the other chakra systems. So you can go over and you can see what crystals match those centers. If you're listening on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know in the comment section which crystals you're using for your chakra centers. And until we speak again, be the light.